Hello everyone, this is Lewis, your captain speaking, and this is the WP Zon Builder version 2 demonstration video. The first thing I'm going to do is show a post created with WP Zon Builder. It's Amazon's Kindle, and this site is just a default WordPress installation using the default uh, 2010 theme. Now I'm going to show you how to search for and add products with WP Zone Builder. You'll see you have options to choose a category or a search index, a sort order, and keywords or a browse node ID. I'm going to go to browsenodes.com and find a browse node ID. I'm going to look for, let's say, Calphalon cookware. So that would be under the kitchen section, or probably the home section, home and garden, kitchen and dining, brands, Calphalon. And this is the browse node ID. I'm going to copy and paste that. And you could use search keywords if you wanted. You could just enter Calphalon. I find this is a uh, much better way to do it because Amazon really does an excellent job of categorizing products and by using browse nodes you get uh, you get to basically source their very impressive ability to categorize products perfectly. Click get products and we could have specified filtering options there if we wanted like a maximum price, a minimum price but there was no need in this case. And there you have it. If you want to click the links one by one, let's say you want to add uh, the first 20 results, the first 20 bestsellers, since I sorted these by bestselling. Click that. And now we have the first uh, 20 bestselling products in this browse note, which is Calphalon cookware. To post these to the site, I click post products. I can choose a category here or uh, post them in multiple categories, but I'm going to let WP Zone Builder create the category automatically for me by checking this box right here. Post dates. WP Zone Builder has an excellent scheduling feature, a date randomizing feature, actually. So I would say I want the post to appear. They're all going to be posted now, but the dates of them are going to be such that it appears they were posted starting up to six weeks ago and then they'll be randomly scheduled into the future for a period of let's say three months and I could enter uh, a hard date right there like March 10th or August 20th but I'm just going to do plus two months a relative date user to post as uh, whether to allow comments I'm going to do that and whether to allow pings or trackbacks I'm going to not do that and then I can choose the post status I want to publish these rather than post them as pending or draft for further modification and then I click the large click here to post products button and here we go 20 products posted just like that I'll click on one of these to see the end result And this is the post. The more information link will take me over to Amazon. Now I'm going to show you the settings page. There are many, many configurable options. The first is the template. Uh, three template sets are included, and you can create your own template sets just by copying and modifying the template files. Then we have uh, settings for SEO and links. customer reviews automatic tagging of posts if we check this a post will automatically be tagged with its amazon.com tags and we can also choose to auto create tags based on the product title next we have product descriptions uh, two basic settings for that Sometimes Amazon provides images in the product descriptions they return. You can choose to automatically turn those into links to the product page on Amazon. Users love to click on 
images. So I really recommend checking this. It'll increase your conversion rate. Next, we have the cache and data expiry feature. This is very useful. Let's say WP Zone Builder creates a post today, but it just so happens that a month into the future, Amazon updates the product price or availability information, descriptions, images. Enable this feature and specify a maximum age for data, and any data older than that will be automatically updated by WP Zone Builder. So, Let's say we enter five days in this box. Any post with data older than five days will be automatically updated with the latest data from Amazon. Then we have settings for post excerpts, where to show those buttons. And you can enable an add to cart button if you wish. You have many buttons to choose from. And you can upload your own buttons, and they'll appear in this list. I'm going to enable the add to cart button and show you what that does. Now visitors to your site will see both a more information button and an add to cart button. And clicking the add to cart button will automatically add the product to their shopping cart on Amazon.com. And then we have uh, settings for duplicate prevention. These are just the product IDs that have already been posted. You can clear this list if you want and a few other miscellaneous settings. Next in the AWS and Affiliate Settings page, this is where you enter your Associate ID so you can get paid a commission for any sales you refer to Amazon. WP Zone Builder supports all of the Amazon Associate Program countries, and if they add any additional countries, I'm going to add support for those as soon as they're added. The AWS Settings, you need an AWS key and a secret key. You would click the Sign Up Here link, and it'll take you about two minutes to get one of those keys. Then we have the language settings page. The language settings page allows you to modify all of the language used by the plugin. This way you don't have to edit files, modify code, or anything like that. It's all right here. Integration. This allows you to integrate with third-party plugins such as PHP Ostock, Auction to Post, PHP Bay. You'd want to consult the documentation of those plugins for more information. But to give you an idea, you would enter the short code that those plugins use in these boxes. Something like that. And then we have custom field mapping, which is pretty advanced and is a whole other video. Last thing is click reports. Right now I've only clicked on one thing, that uh, Calphalon commercial non-stick 10-inch stir-fry pot I added to the site earlier. If you had lots of clicks, you'd be able to search through them all here. Search by the ID number, post ID, product title, delete all the clicks. And you could even export them to Microsoft Excel or another spreadsheet program if you wanted to generate graphs and do that sort of thing. Well, thank you for watching. That overview certainly doesn't cover everything, but it gives a pretty good overview of the features of this plugin. If you want more in-depth explanations of the features, click the Features link in the top menu on WPZonBuilder.com. And if you want to see it in action, click the Live Demos link. From here, you can look at live demos of the plugin in action on live sites. And if you have any questions, click the Support link and send me an email.